Well, guys, we are finally on the last episode for Arrow for season four. We're on episode 23. This one's called Schism. So, guys, look, honestly, from season four, I mean, of course, like I said before, I've seen shows where they had horrible seasons. I think the season could have been great. It's just the writing. That's really it. It's just certain things that happen throughout the season that made people hate the season. I could understand from you guys' perspective, definitely with uh, Laurel, what you know what happened to Laurel, Lance, and I, I could understand now. I could really understand your pain. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, you see. Felicity, she she was kind of annoying in some parts of the episodes, you know, throughout this season. I'm just like, what is she thinking? I'm like, that's kind of, that's pretty much what I'm thinking. But I mean, I just feel like this season could have been great. It could have been. It had a lot of potential. But it's just certain parts that just annoy people. That's pretty much my perspective and my my viewpoint on it. It's like I don't hate it, but I hate certain things about it. That, that's kind of how I feel about it. It's like it wasn't painful to watch completely, but there were just little things that were happening throughout the season that made people kind of like, wow, I just can't believe this is really happening type of thing. Or it made people not, you know be fans of the show anymore or something like that but yeah i could definitely say that this will be on the bottom of my list as well so far from the first four seasons i'm pretty sure it will continue to be on the bottom of the four seasons but because i know that season five i heard it was really good i heard it was really freaking good and you guys have been just saying like how great it is but yeah season four was it's definitely gonna be on my bottom list period that's just kind of how i feel about it it's you know it's just, I, there's just certain things I can see what you guys feel. Oh yeah, we did see at the last scene of the last episode that Dark came in uh, after Felicity. Obviously, he's going to probably use her against uh, Oliver to get his way, pretty sure. Or maybe kill her in front of uh, Oliver or something like that. Because now um, his wife is dead. She's gone. He already knows that he's pissed. So he doesn't really care anymore at this point. He really doesn't. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they're going to end season four to see how this is going to turn out if dark's going to be alive or dead that's pretty much what i'm wondering at this point and you guys up uh, before this video begins guys i want to thank clay for sponsoring this video through the patreon page make sure you guys go on the page to get the full reaction and also consider supporting the channel as well anyway guys let's just get into this last episode for season four for the arrow do you need a moment no good because i need you to do me a favor go to hell why bother i'm gonna bring it to us get the hell out of here mom stop <laughs> this is your mother oh Goody. Damn it. Oh. oh! Persuading you to help me is gonna be easier than I thought. What's it gonna be, Miss Smoke? Here he comes! Here he freaking comes! So unoriginal. I am now powered by the deaths of tens of thousands of souls. Or should I say, us. Oh, crap. Let them go, or I kill your daughter. You think I'm bluffing? Let my daughter go. Everything's gonna be all right. Oh, they're getting away. Okay. When did this become your life? Oh my God. <laughs> he took it. It's What's gone. gone. The laptop with the anti-Rubicon program. If Dark has that, he can launch all over the world's nuclear missiles. Crap. It's like internal bleeding. Possible broken rib. Gun down, Ryder. You think you can kill me, Miss Venedictov? I'm going to kill you. That Ryder, that plane filled with all those people you were keeping prisoner, they're getting away. This is over. And it's not over. All those deaths, they give me power and madness. Oh, they're going at it. Just over 15,000 ballistic missiles and they all just launched. How much time do we have? Two hours. Maybe less. How are they going to do that? Get that shut down. <laughs> oh, she's sucking him out. And I'm through Cooper's firewalls. Well, shut it down. That's what I'm trying to do. What? Blasting. I was not expecting that. This is nuts, man. Do it. Oh no! The whole cage getting messed up. You are a murderer. 
Master. You killed my brother. You are darkness. You don't have to be. <laughs> we will find a way to work around this. There is only one way. You have to kill me, Oliver. No, I. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> Chaotic. Please. I know what you're feeling right now. Process what might happen to us right now. We survived the undertaking. We survived the siege. We will survive this. This is our home. This is our home. We will not. We will not throw those precious gifts away. Nice spot to go back. We can all stand here united. Oh my god, it's here. That's terrifying. I can't hack this system. But if the nuke gets close enough, which it is. Back on the missile itself and disarm it. Pointing that thing at the nuke? It's pretty hard. Oh, they can turn. Yeah, yeah, they can turn it off from oh. there. We're not, he's not doing it. I'm not gonna kill you. I will kill you. If you ever cared for me, then you would do this. What? No. Yeah, I'm sorry. <gasps> Broke her neck. You killed her! Oh no. Mark? What does a guy have to do to end the world in peace? Why is he here, Daddy? Oh, he came here to die, sweetheart. Well, he's gonna counter your power, pretty much. <laughs> Fifteen minutes till the Jeez. end of the world, and you want to spend them with me. I am touched. This is a mercy killing on a global scale. I'm sparing my daughter the pain of growing up without her mother. Let him go! No, people. People. Get out. For real. It has been infected by, and I will do it! No, you won't. How are you gonna stop me? Because it won't just be me who's gonna stop you. Wait. Oh, he's using it! Not so easy without the magic, is it? I don't need magic. Oh. <laughs> I'll cheer for the fucking. Oh my god. Cooper. Cooper. Hey, Felicity. Who shot you? Guess. He's moving the bullet closer and closer to my spine. Stronger than this, you can still do the right thing and still be the man that I loved. I haven't been that guy in a long time. Now's your chance. Now you can do it. Mr. Selden. You weak will dust my I'm sorry, Coop. Yeah, at least he had a sacrifice of pretty much. Oh, you brought friends. That's okay. So did I. Oh my god, everyone's going at it? <laughs> I was expecting the people to go out. Damn. Now you know how it feels. I really thought you and Don. Don't worry, she's safe, but I had to come back to stay on my city because this Oliver Queen guy gives a hell of a speech. This is nuts, man. What are you going to do now, Oliver? We both know you can't do it. Oh, you will. You spare the life of the man who killed your own mother. Slade killed a friend of mine. Slade Wilson, I had a choice. This time I don't. You're dead. <laughs> you gotta do it. That shit was wild, man. Take forever to clean this place up. Yeah. Well, I wish you guys the best of luck with that. You make me feel like I'm piling on. What do you mean? I thought about Laurel and and what she'd say me if she were here. I think she'd tell me to get out. He is leaving too. I lost too much of myself. What? I'm sorry, Holly. Well, it looks like it's just the three of us. You, Meryl? 
The original gangsters? Yeah. Originals. Up top. That's depressing, okay. man. No. no. He's not okay. I told Lila the truth about Andy. What do you gotta do? Take some time away from this team. Oh, Diggle too? In the city. You're the one who keeps me in line. Oliver, I don't know if you've been watching lately, but it's been the other way around, man. Man, everyone's just up and leaving, man, because they need yeah, everyone needs some time. Robert Queen. Up, oh, Tiana. Here I thought you'd never use the calm gear I gave you to radio for a trip home. Austin for a while. Man, Amanda! We haven't seen her in a while. And now it is. Do you remember what I told you? That the only way out is through? Well, I am not out, Amanda. I'm still filled with darkness. Director Waller, what do you want to do with the artifact? Have it transported to the slab. Yes, ma'am. What am I going to do with this? Our business here is concluded, Mr. Queen. Unless it's not. As I said, justice requires killing. A man of your talents could be useful in hot spots across the globe, or you could just go back to playing vigilante. Either. I have a promise to keep. Only an interim appointment. A proper election will be held in August. But given that you got 48% of the vote before as a write-in candidate, well, I think that's just a formality. Shall we? Is he going to try to be, be the mayor? Put your left hand on the Bible. Raise oh, your right hand. He's going to become mayor. And recite the oath. Oliver Queen, do solemnly swear to support the charter and laws of Star City. Form and discharge the duties of the office of mayor according to the law and to the very best of my ability. Congratulations. He's now mayor of the city. He's mayor of Star City. He got it at the end. Is he going back into the service? I didn't know you'd be here. You thought I was leaving too? Not a chance. Guys, this is actually a really great last episode for season four. I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, season five. I just can't believe that uh, Oliver became mayor. Uh, obviously, he, he's going to probably give up the vigilante stuff for a while, but we already know that in season five, he'll come back to it eventually. They're, the team's going to find a way back into you know going back on missions or whatever so pretty much at this point everyone's just taking time for themselves they, that's pretty much what they're doing at this point because they've been through a lot it's just been really hard it really has been hard uh for pretty much everyone oliver did kill dark which i was expecting but we never know with the season they could have kept them alive and he could have been throughout uh season five but they did uh kill him he's now gone um and rightfully so I mean, of course, I see why Oliver feels some type of way because he did make a promise not to kill anyone or even kill anyone in cold blood, but he had to. He had to kill uh, Dark. He was just too damn dangerous. I'm, I'm for it. I really am. I'm still sad about uh, Laurel being gone. I am. I really am because it's just like, I just feel like it's such a waste of character, to be honest. I, f I still feel that way. Uh, but I mean, I looked at the comment section definitely from the episode 18. Yeah, everyone, yeah, people have mixed you know feelings about it. Like... Most people feel like how I feel, like it was just wasted. But there's some people who are saying it was, think they think is the best thing. So it is, it is what it is at this point. I just wish they would never done it. We did see that uh, Tiana did kill a uh, writer. Uh, well, Oliver and her killed Ryder together. But basically, Tiana asked Oliver to kill her. So because the thing, you know, the powers were just taking over her. The darkness was, and she begged him. She told her like, if you care about me, you'll do this. And he did that, and. I was like, man, because that's why he just he just wish he would have never done all that stuff. He just it's just horrible. It really is horrible. And I can feel what Oliver's feeling. So, yeah, anyway, guys, this is a great episode. I'm really looking forward to getting to season five. We are finally, finally here. I just can't. I'm really excited to get into this because you guys have been talking about the season. I'm really freaking excited uh, to see season five. But anyway, guys, uh, please leave a like and a comment on the video. Make sure you guys go on the Patreon page to get the full reaction. Also, consider supporting the channel as well. But anyway, guys, hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys in season five.